Hello Libra, welcome to a How They Feel About You love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their true intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Libra 100%. So take what resonates for you, it applies to you. Spirit's Angels guides messages for Libra regarding love. For Libra spirit. What's going on for Libra in love? Whoa. Okay. For Libra. What's going on for Libra in love? What's going on in this connection at this time, sir? What's current energies between Libra and their person? What's going on in this connection for Libra? Okay, we have the Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles. What's going on in this connection for Libra? We have the Four of Swords. So with the Four of Swords, Four of uh, Pentacles, I'm getting like I'm um, pulling back. Like someone's keeping something to themselves here. Let's see. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm gonna have to clarify that as well. Why is the Four of Pentacles here with the Four of Swords? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Four of Swords. Judgment. Why is the Four of Pentacles here with the Four of Swords? Wow, in the world. Well, judgment leads right into the world. So I feel like there's some sort of movement here. Bottom of the, the Eight of Wands, yeah, and the Tower, wow. Okay, Libra. So I feel like this is gonna be one of those readings where there's something going on behind the scenes. Um, and I, I say that because I don't think this is in someone's face. I don't think this is, one of you is keeping something from the other or this has not been really discussed because I have the Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Um, I'm literally see, like feeling like someone's locking something away here or keeping some sort of thought or idea or conversation or message to themselves. But with the Judgment card, I feel like this is because of the past. Almost like this is some sort of past situation that is almost keeping someone from moving forward into the world. Because the judgment is, the judgment card is kind of like a step that you have to take before you transition over into the world where you can begin a new cycle again. Let's see, can I get one more please? Tell me more for Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Can you get some more please for the Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords? Seven of Wands, yeah, there's like a block here in some way um, or it could be that someone is standing up fighting back facing a challenge in order to start a new cycle can I get one more please some more insight for Libra three of swords knight of swords what is going on high priestess again there's something that someone's keeping to themselves. I'm trying to think that this is like an emotional or, or feelings, like keeping their feelings to themselves. And I feel with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, it's almost like there needs to be some sort of communication here. I'm gonna have to see what else, but I'm not sure why the Three of Swords is here. What is going on? Okay, let's start one at a time. Tell me about the Three of Swords. 
Why is the Three of Swords here? Four of Wands. Why is the Three of Swords here? Five of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, see, someone has to speak up. The Emperor and Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Chariot. Cancer energy, Aries energy here with the Emperor. Okay, tell me about this Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Okay. Five of Cups. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Hmm. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Three of Wands and the Hangman. So, wow, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So with this Three of Swords, Four of Wands, Five of Pentacles, I'm getting the message of someone kind of um, on the outs or feels like maybe they ruined a good thing. And then I saw the Five of Cups. So I feel like this is like someone regretting messing up something good or something stable. It's like they hurt someone here with the Three of Swords or is actively hurting someone with the Three of Swords. And I say someone because this is you and your person here. Um, this is the mutual energies between you. So it could go either way. It could be you that's doing this or someone else or you that's regretting or the other person. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like this is someone that has something to say. The Knight of Swords, Page of Cups and the Emperor. They have something to say. And I think this is very important before the world can happen. And there's a delay or some sort of like stuck energy here with the hangman and the three of wands. Literally the card, the three of wands is about waiting. Then the hangman, it's kind of like no movement, no action, just thinking. And that's similar here with the four of swords. There's no action here, just thinking, reflecting. And as they reflect and think about this, they're not really communicating or expressing this. But I can tell you that there's regret here. There's regret here. Because I feel like right now, they're like this. Maybe they need to apologize. I do have the Page of Cups here. The Knight of Swords can be someone that's very open and honest. And then I have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is, yeah, and then the Six of Cups with the Lovers. Look at that. Gemini energy, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. I'm thinking like soulmate, twin flame, past life connection, very sweet, loving connection, a very strong connection um, full of love here. That's kind of like the undercurrent. So why holding back? Why, why the hang up? Literally, I feel like this is someone that's like hung up here. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Libra, I'm going to put your energies on one side and your person's energies on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me more about Libra and this other person. Give me some more insight, please. For Libra and this other person. Tell me about Libra's energy. Tell me about Libra's energy. Hidden motives. Tell me about Libra's energy. Deception, secrets, avoidance. Someone's hiding their true motives. Yeah. Tell me more about Libra's energies. Inner voice. Again, that's like the high priestess. So I feel like, I don't know if you're the one that's holding back Libra, or if you know that your person's holding something back from you. Bottom of the deck, I have far apart. So yes, I feel like there's this a distance, a disconnect between you and this person. Tell me about Libra's person. Tell me about Libra's person. Why is Libra's person? What are their energies, Libra's person? Breathe in, that's like the Four of Swords. Oh, wedding bells and hidden feelings, yeah. Maybe you're both doing this to each other, but there's definitely something hidden here. It keeps coming up. I hope they're not hiding a commitment or a marriage or something like that. But there's definitely someone here that's like holding back. I'm thinking of the Four of Swords here. Okay, let's get some more. Can I get some more insight for Libra? 
Libra and their person. Can I get some insight into Libra? Libra's energy spirit. What's Libra thinking or feeling when it comes to this other person? What's Libra thinking or feeling when it comes to this other person? Please don't shut me out. Tell me about Libra's person. Tell me about Libra's person. I haven't been the same since we met. The path I am on is leading me straight to you. Okay, so you're definitely not together together with this person. Can I get some more? Now, please don't shut me out. I do feel like someone is like, it's like you're not getting information or you're not getting the truth or, you know, someone's like intentionally withdrawn here. Can I get one more, please, for Libra? Some more energies, please. Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra. The dragonfly. My deck is probably upside down. So the dragonfly. This is about light, I believe. I always have to look at this book, guys. I know that sometimes you guys get annoyed with the book, but this particular deck is very difficult because we have the moth, the butterfly, the dragonfly, you know, and they're all kind of similar types of energy. The firefly. And I, I mean, I'm human. I'm, I just cannot like, one of these days I got to really study this deck. Anyways, master of light, illusion, and the mind. Yes. So I feel like this is something here with um, illusions, perception. The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. Um, calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. So I feel like because there's no clarity, there's confusion. Basically is what I'm getting here. And confusion could be from illusion. I feel like they work together, basically. Um, you know, sometimes as human beings, we just, we can't help but fill in the gap. And I feel like that's what's happening here. I feel like you're left to fill in the gap if you don't have this information or your person is left to fill in the gap because they don't have the information, you know? Take it as it resonates. Okay, let's see, what about your person? Tell me about Libra's person. I haven't been the same since we met. Hmm. So I feel like this person is um, restless. That's what I'm picking up. Can I get one more, please, for Libra's person? What can you tell me about Libra's person? The horse, movement, freedom, action. Bottom of the deck, the bear. So this is about new beginnings, a new dawn, going back out there. So let's see. Can we get some more insight into these two? I'm going to start with you, Libra. What can you tell me for Libra, Spirit? What can you tell me for Libra? What is Libra thinking or feeling in this connection? Death, Scorpio energy. What is Libra thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? The Empress. Wow. I feel like you want something to change, transform, and transform in a way where there's growth, manifestation. Maybe you're trying to manifest communication the truth you know seven of swords is here so i feel like you suspect your person or something like that like like maybe there's trust issues here maybe you can't really trust this other person or perhaps the way that things ended between you or the situation between you and this person at this time I feel like you have to spy or try to fill in the gaps, like I said. You know, I'm seeing all of these energies. I'm going to clarify, but this is what I'm seeing so far. 
And I think all of this would be cleared up with this Knight of Swords. I feel like they're very important. They've shown up twice. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But what I'm getting here with this Empress is almost like um, like a new beginning. I'm seeing this as like like I almost as I'm picking up like the Fool here. Like we could do this, um, you know, even though something has ended or changed, but I'm getting like more ended. Even if something has ended, I feel like there could still be potential for growth. Others of you, I feel like you want something to change because you don't like where things are at. Tell me about um, the Empress. Where's the Empress here? Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Empress. Tell me about the Empress. Seven of Cups. See, there's not... So, I feel like you're confused. Maybe because this person is far away. Maybe because someone walked away already, but it, there wasn't closure. You know, maybe there's no closure given what's happened. There's the Ace of Wands. Once again, you know, and the Fool. Exactly what I'm, I'm it's exactly the energy I'm picking up. New beginnings right here. It's almost like you're wondering if this could happen. You know? Because I feel like there was no fin finality between you and this person. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Five of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, there's there's almost like um deception or secrets or someone like sneak being sneaky. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. The world. Five of Wands. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but it's like drama, conflict, deception. Why is the world involved here? That's such weird energy. This could be the end of a cycle, something ending. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Page of Pentacles. So starting small, this, okay. Hmm. I'm also picturing like um like someone withdrawing like because of the way things ended maybe someone's ashamed or feels guilty for what was said how they conducted themselves um I'm getting like insecurity here kind of wands again tell me about the knight of swords because I feel like this is all related to an ending because it's weird for the world to be there with the Seven of Swords and the Five of um, Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Three of Wands. I think you're waiting to hear from this person. Ten of Swords. Yeah, the Hangman. I feel like you've, you, you've either been waiting for a long time or something, but ever since things ended between you and this person or there was a disconnect, I feel like you still keep tabs on this person and wait for them in some way, wait to hear from them. I almost get like there's confusion as to why things ended. Actually, let me put these back. Why things ended, um, you know, why someone might be stuck, why maybe you're waiting. And I feel like this is a very complex situation. I don't think it's simple, especially if this person is married. Um, that will complicate things. Because I feel like there's something off here. There's some sort of secret or something hidden that's still here. Because the Seven of Swords showed up. So let's look at your person's energy. Tell me about Libra's person. Tell me about Libra's person. What are their energies? at this time. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Libra? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Libra or this connection? Eight of Swords. 
Seven of Wands again. What do you think you are feeling when it comes to Libra? I want this one. Three of Swords again, Ten of Cups. Yeah, your person's energy is not great. <laughs> Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, not great energy here. Why the Eight of Swords? Why the fear and the overthinking? And again, with a stuck energy, why the Eight of Swords? The Eight of Swords is kind of like frozen and fear, paralyzed in fear. Knight of Swords, scared of the truth or communicating the truth. We have the Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, Page of Cups, Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person is scared of like apologizing or com communicating their feelings being honest with you about something here tell me about the eight of swords why is the eight of swords here and it's funny because in none of these in none of your energies is there love like cards about love or anything like that um this ten of cups i i'm not picking up love there either so we'll see what that's about king of swords nine of cups The Nine of Cups is a card about emotional fulfillment. So is the Ten of Cups. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Page of Wands. Queen of Swords. So I feel like um, there's something here with communication that's off. So maybe they need to tell you something. Um, regarding a situation that they're in or regarding a situation that happened between you and them. I feel this communication would lead to satisfaction. And they know it. It's like, I need to clear the air. I need to clear the air, but I'm scared. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. The Star. Aquarius energy. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Also, I don't see any cards here about an offer either, which is very interesting. The Page of Cups and the Page of Wands came out. Those are more for me cards and the Page of Swords, cards about communication. Ten of Wands with the Three of Swords. So, you know, whatever difficulty, heartache, disappointment, it's a burden here. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. We have the Death card, the Ten of Swords. There's this theme of endings, completions, things coming to end the world. I feel like this is all related. And for some reason, I'm not seeing it clearly. But I feel like maybe a lot of you watching know. Um, please let me know in the comments. Because I feel like I'm missing something that I haven't seen here with the cards. Um... Or maybe I'm missing it because I'm so focused on the hidden. You know, I feel there's something that's under the surface, hidden, an illusion, a secret, something that hasn't been said. But of course, I don't know exactly what that is. Um, I just know that someone here is scared to talk to you about it. It's like they're scared to tell you the truth. And I'm wondering why that is. Now the Three of Swords is here, Ten of Wands is here. Um, so I don't know if, if there is a third party. But I feel like this is more someone's emotions taking a toll. Their difficulty, their pain, their experiencing, their regrets, their feeling. Because look at this person. Like she looks almost like she's saying, oh no. <laughs> I feel like this is taking its toll on your person. Let's get some insight into their true intentions towards you and their next actions. Let's see. Spirit, can you give me some insight into this person that Libra is dealing with? What are their true intentions and or next actions going to be towards Libra? What are their true intentions or next actions towards Libra? Look at this energy. Nine of swords, seven of swords. What are their next and or next action? Look at this. 
Nine of Swords and the Devil. You see what I'm saying? It's just weird energy. It's weird energy. Well, this looks better. Knight of Pentacles. What is this person's next? Okay. Next actions are true intentions. One more. Towards Libra. 